Hi, this is Joe and Cassie, and we're the Jewelry Couple. Today we have a quick video for you on emerald and asher cuts. Let's just get right to it. What is an emerald cut? It's a classy, glassy cut with really straight lines. We're going to show you a picture right now. Over here, we have the cousin. It's an asher cut. It's a square version of the exact same cut. Cassie, actually, when we were dating and mm -hmm. she was telling you about some of her favorite diamond cuts, Emerald Cup, e Emerald Cut came out as one of her favorites. And she's going to tell you a little bit why. I love it. There's something just very classy about it. It doesn't have the same sparkle and brilliance as other diamonds shapes necessarily. But it's just got that old Hollywood feel. Mm -hmm. there, there are some tricky things about it, though. You have to get a diamond that does not have a lot of inclusions because every little thing can show in an emerald cut. With, you know, around Brilliant, all the, the cuts and everything. Right. The it can, facets. Yeah, it can hide a lot of little tiny things that are not a big deal, but it is a big deal when there's nothing to really hide it with. So. Emerald cut is tricky to find, you know, the perfect stone. But when you do, so beautiful, especially a nice big one. <laughs> right, of course. We're going to talk a little bit about the ratio there. Mm -hmm. So let's show some typical ratios right here on uh, emerald cuts. You don't want it to be too squatty. Right, because then it just looks like a princess cut. Right, or the asher, which is square. Mm -hmm. So that's its own distinct thing. And people will buy it for being a square emerald cut or an asher. Right. Named after the company that came up with that cut, the Royal Asher Company, which they have their own cut as well right now called the Royal Asher. They basically had their patent run out on the original and they added a few more facets. So that's a separate thing and that's I think I've patented. only done one Asher cut. Mm -hmm. It's, not, it's yeah. not as typical, but it is a very elegant... It's very beautiful, but not commonly asked for at right. all. With these cuts, you need to have something that's typically, and she said clean, but to be more specific, probably in the VS territory. Mm -hmm. Occasionally you find exceptions, just like anything, which we talked about in the clarity, which you should go back and view that video if you haven't. Um, but you want to have something that is VS, very slightly included, one or two or higher for an Asher and Emerald cut because you have less facets to mm -hmm. hide stuff, unless you're putting it on the corner. Right. Where you put the prongs. I was right. just going to say, unless they're on the sides, but if something is in the middle, it's going to show. Oh, no matter what. Even more so than a round right. or a cushion or an oval. I have on an emerald cut yellow topaz cocktail ring. Mm -hmm. It's just fun because I love, this is the size I would want if I'm getting an emerald cut. <laughs> well, that's too big. I'm sorry. I can't afford that. Right. <laughs> but, but basically. I'll just pretend I'm Kim Kardashian for the day. And yeah, it's, for uh, the day. It, a day is enough. Nice and long. <laughs> so if you have a longer finger, it makes sense to go with right. an emerald cut. Asher cut kind of resembles mm -hmm. a princess cut with the corners cut, cut off. Mm -hmm. If you want more brilliance, we go to the next video. If you want to listen to the next video, watch us. We're going to talk about the radiant cut, which was based off of mm -hmm. emerald cuts. Okay. And the uh, Asher cut, the kind of square version that's really brilliant, the princess cut. So we're going to talk about princess cuts and radiant cuts next. And right now, here's a few little pictures of some rings that would look good with an emerald cut. The baguettes. Oh, I love it side. with the side baguettes. Yeah, let's take so a look classy. at these. Uh, classic setups for an emerald or rasher cut. Thanks, guys, for uh, watching our videos with The Jewelry Couple. Uh, reach out to us at thejewelrycouple at yahoo.com. We're on Instagram. And, of course, cassiesaverjewelry.com. Bye.